Hello YouTube, it is Chris here, and in today's episode we are going to discuss Flint Laces, the wearable fire starters, so stick with me. Welcome back everybody and thank you for sticking with me. Like I said, in today's episode we are going to be discussing flint laces. Now these flint laces are created by the guys over at Radler Strap who actually are the ones who designed and made my paracord belt that I've been wearing for many years. Let me tell you what, this is probably the coolest way for me to be able to wear an extra hundred feet of paracord. If I absolutely need it. Now if I ever had to use it, would I be out? A belt. Yep. But uh, that's why it's my Ultra Omega Super Emergency Backup. Now, with everything that I do, I, when I was scouring the internet, I found the flint, les flint laces on Amazon. It was something that like kind of suggested like, oh, people who bought this also bought that. And well, as you can see, I'm going to tilt this camera up. You can see I already have these bad boys on my work boots. And my work boots are dirty. Because I work in them. Now, why don't I have flint laces on, on those? You're like, that doesn't make no sense. It's because I have this little bad boy on the other one. This is actually a handcuff key, but that is a whole nother video in itself. So I try to, you know, maximize my everyday carriness as far as, you know, escape and evasion, fire starting. So without letting this video take too long, let's jump to the test footage and see how well they work. Basically, I mean, obviously, it's no different than tying up shoelaces, but then once you've uh, checked them out, just make sure they're even, you pull the string. Now, I guess the bigger question is, how well do they work? Now, generally speaking, you they come with a striker, but if you don't feel like taking that striker off unless you absolutely have to, I'm going to be using this little cheap little knife and light a few different tenders and see how well the actual ferro rod works as far as striking a spark. Now, this is a lot smaller than a normal ferro rod, so it won't necessarily be super comfortable. Okay. Now, these gen this does not generate nearly as many sparks as a really nice ferro rod. But with the right tender, it'll work really well. So, I know this took a little bit longer than I'd like to admit, but I was trying to be honest about these, is that it does work, but it's a backup to the backup. You know, definitely have a lighter, definitely have a really good fire steel. This will work. This is much better than absolutely nothing, but uh, fire steels that are on paracord bracelets and things like your shoelaces, they are very awesome to have, but like I said, they're still a backup. They're nothing that would be your front or first line of defense or you know protection to keep yourself warm. Having a really good tender will definitely be helpful, but if this is all you had and like the rain, you could be out there for hours. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that test footage as much fun as I had testing these and actually seeing how well they work. Now, I know I didn't light too much on fire, but it was a good example of how it worked and they're decent. 
as how I describe them as a backup to the backup to the backup to the backup. This is your last resort. This is your last ditch effort. You've lost everything on your pack. Your pack floated down the river. Bear took it, whatever. You know, Marauders stole your crap. If they gave you your boots, you can still start a fire. And that could be the difference between life or death. Now, I know as you guys know, I take my fire starting very seriously. Such as my EDC Altoid Survival Tin, which is in another episode that I'll link down in the description box below. Having something really awesome, like a Bic lighter with a waterproof container like this Exotac uh, lighter, Bic lighter container is really important. But so on and so forth. You see what I mean? It's not just one thing to rule them all. And these definitely don't replace something like a really high quality fire steel like the lightning strike fire starter this is probably the best one on the market as far as how reactive the fire steel is and how it channels everything to it but this isn't an auto review about that but i'll kind of let that hang out and so i don't have this on the other boot so this is kind of hanging around extra but i snipped it off oh yeah and by the way it's made of 550 paracord so what did I do with this? What did I do with that other fire steel? Well, as you know, I like to try to find multiple uses for various things. And I know a lot of you have seen my life straw survival kit that I built. And I have a few pieces that are floating in and out while I'm experimenting. But I took that little flint lace thing and I popped it right there inside that ranger band. So I found that this piece of kit to be extremely useful, really good for some knickknacks and being able to do some different projects with it. But that just about does it for now. If you guys like this episode and like this demonstration and thought these flint lasers were cool, definitely throw a big thumbs up to this video and definitely consider shopping at all those Amazon links that I have down in the description box below with all the gear that I mentioned in today's episode. But that just about does it. I hope you guys have an absolute wonderful day. I'm out.